my sister was, oh my God, I'm gonna cry already. Um, as a little girl, she's one of those spunky people. She's the person that is creative and she would be doing art and she'd be singing every minute. And just like one of those kids, you're like, how are you so happy? She's, she's an angel, like literally that's her nickname. When it came to going to school, we went to Catholic school and it was a safe, it was a good environment. We, you know, we had great teachers, we were guided, but then it came to the point with creativity was almost a negative thing. It was like if you had a lot of energy or if you wanted to do art instead of read for 10 hours or it was almost like, what's wrong with you? It wasn't viewed as something positive. Eventually it just got to the point where people kept telling my mom that my sister had ADD and that she needed to be on Ritalin and that she needed to be tamed or calmed or whatever. The drugs, they, they erased her. It was like she was just this vessel and nothing was inside of it. It was just this emptiness, this vast emptiness of nothing. And I'm angry. I'm really angry because I've lost my sister is what it feels like at this point. I don't have my best friend. Like, I just didn't know what happened. It was like, like her soul was taken out of her. It was, it was the scariest thing I had ever seen in my life. It was like, she didn't sing. She was quiet all the time. She was, she was just gone. Like it was like she was just a being walking this earth and there was nothing in there. It was just emptiness. And it was the scariest thing because it was the complete opposite of from what I was used to. And she was just a blank canvas, like gone, just not there. My sister was dragged until she was about 15 or 16 years old and I couldn't take it anymore. And um, I started college. I go in as a psychology major with the drive of seeking answers and seeking options for children or for other people other than psychiatric drugs with the idea that I'm gonna be the person to change what the psychology industry is. Within a year I was, I wanted to switch. I wanted to be out. I'm like, this isn't for me. This is just reliving my sister's moments of, I wanna to say torture, really torture. And so I start fishing through my teachers and I say, someone here has to have some other perspective on psychology. There can't, it can't be all statistics and drugs. So I'm seeking answers and one of my professors tells me about CCHR and he's like, you need to go to this museum. It'll, it'll, change, your, it'll change your world. It'll be, it's what you're looking for. You gotta go. And so I went, I came with my boyfriend and he's also a psych major. I walked into this museum and I was like, oh my God, this is it. This is, this is it beyond it and I was blown out of the water because it was the side that I knew. Within the first room, within the video, we're just like, this is hilarious because a chemical imbalance is something you learn when you're doing your psych degree. And we're always like, what the f is a, a chemical imbalance? You know, like, what is that? And no one can give you an answer. No one can give you an answer. And they hand you the DSM and say, this is how you diagnose people. And it was funny because when I diagnosed myself, I had mania and bipolar, and I was like, this is a joke. And so when I came to the museum and I saw that video, I was like, yep, that's exactly how I felt when I started my major. Like, this is a joke. Got to that section on kids, I broke down. I just started crying and my boyfriend's like, what's going on? And I'm like, this is how I felt with my sister. Like, I'm looking at my sister. I'm looking at what she had to deal with and nobody wanted to have that awareness or say anything enough to be like, this is not okay. And that was that moment where I'm like, I'm bringing my mother and sister here because I can't this is it, like this is where the message is gonna come through and it's gonna penetrate deep enough so that something happens, that a change happens. After we came to the museum, she was just like, this is it. It was a stance, it wasn't even, it wasn't even like a go back and forth type of thing. It was just firm, like this is it, I'm done. And I think that she needed that to show my mom to say, look, it's, it's proven, this is not right. Afterwards, we had an emotional moment of just gratitude because it was like, Nobody understood, like nobody got it. Nobody got what we were trying to say about that this was wrong for her, that her experience was unfair, that it's not just her, it's thousands of kids, you know? And I don't know, I just embraced her because it was like, this is your time, like this, you are allowed to be free now. Like you're gonna free your soul and you're gonna come back into your body and you're gonna be you and nothing is wrong with you. Because it was like, no one was acknowledging what she was going through other than probably me, you know? I love my sister a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm super thankful to have her. 
because I had someone that was the, that cared about me enough to tell me, you know, to not have to to be on something. So that's another reason why it's so important to come here because you can you can tell other people that are on it, hey, maybe I don't I don't know what you're going through, but you can get off them and you can you can empower someone. So I think that's what I want to say thank you to, to her for us, being like someone that's really empowering and um, her herself with her life uh, taking a lot of chances with things. I feel like it's my duty as a sister. Like she got brought in to my world and so it's my job to protect her. And if I'm being told something, if something greater is coming to me and saying, you're right about this, you're supported, you know, like there's a museum to back you up or there's teachers to back you up and we'll guide you through this and I gotta do it. She brought me here to, you know, to help me see other kids and how they fell and help me make a decision for myself because I was coming of age where you can make your own choices. I don't know, I don't think any kid at seven years old should be, you know, diagnosed with anything because you're you're just a kid. That's why it's important that you guys are spreading that knowledge to people because you actually know what you're talking about. The greatest thing about CCHR is it's real. That's real recognizes real. So it's the real thing. It's not candy coated, it's not sugar coated, it's not they're not gonna tell it to you and put a pink ribbon on it and make it sound all beautiful. It's the real truth. It's just like a message, here you go, take it how you can and reflect on it and do something about it. Both my boyfriend and I were studying psychology and after coming to the museum, we knew that something had to shift. We knew that we had to be activists in letting people know what the truth is. Regardless of that we might have spent money, regardless of our parents were upset that you know, we picked this degree, they've already put so much into it. Sorry, this is the truth and it has to come out. We said, you know what, this is our path. We're gonna put it out there that alternative health is the way and that drugs are a lie. Psychiatric drugs are a lie. There is no cure, nobody has ever been cured, nobody has ever said they've been cured, and if anything, they have to cure 10 more things after they've started any drug. Coming into contact with CCHR changed our lives because it was that validation. It was really validation of what we needed to hear to say, look everyone, this is how we feel and here's some proof behind it and you know, here's stories, here's everything, media, everything coverage on what we're trying to tell you. And it just felt like, it almost felt like a family. Like it felt like your family had your back and you were like, thank God that someone is saying what I'm trying to say because I'm screaming this at the top of my lungs and nobody's listening. And if it's gonna take this, then it's gonna take this. And it did, and it, I don't, the whole world shifted. It was, it was amazing. I don't know, it was almost like a miracle. So, yeah. <laughs>